Yo, this is General Zeus with Hemper Sativa live and direct on Dub Siren TV. We're here at the Dub Club in Los Angeles. Zeus, respect. Big up Dub Siren, yes. It's good. It's a pleasure to be here. We give thanks and praise to the most high always for mm. every opportunity, every breath of life. Yeah, give thanks. Definitely. Are you are you like uh you guys this is the end of your tour from Europe or is this a separate uh This is a separate, separate gig. Okay. Um we close out the Europe tour. The last show was in um Slovakia for Uprising. Nice Veto. Yeah. And we did that um on the twenty seventh. Great. Yes. I love that festival. You it's like a it? Great You've festival. been there before? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's I nice like festival. it. I like the mashup of different artists. Mm. Yeah. And Sveto, Sveto's still hosting it, right? Yeah, I think so. That's their person. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. That's wicked. I met so, him briefly. Mm -hmm. Didn't catch on to the name. Really How was nice. the show? It was good. It was a good experience. First yeah. time? First time, yeah. Okay. It was good. Cool. Nice to be in Slovakia and to experience, you know, being outside of Jamaica and just see how people experience reggae. Mm. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. I mean, that's the great thing about Europe. They're so appreciative, right? And it's such a different... Yeah. It's a different vibe. It is. One we can get used to. It's nice. But you've played at the dub club a lot. Ah, uh, this is my second time. That's it? Yeah. Oh, so I was at the first I know. I, I look like, you know, I'm a staple here, but it's only the second time. <laughs> Yeah, cool. respect the time, you know, big up. Yeah, Second big up Tom, time. every time. Um, so tell us we, where were we when we got uh, distracted. We were talking about My your father. Dad. Yeah. yeah. So my father is like one of my biggest inspiration where music is concerned. From I was a little girl growing up, my father has been a selector, singer, songwriter, producer, drummer, musical extraordinaire, everything. Whoever oh. do music, mm. basically involved. So growing up, my father would usually like have this sound system set up in the yard, constantly making him pre-selection for the upcoming show because I don't know people if people know, but my father is one of the original selectors for Jello of uh, Music with <laughs> Brigadier Jerry and Belch and the works. The so, great Alawi Malawi. Yeah, great Alawi Malawi. <laughs> I know when I start rocking in a dance, I am present to the one that's born. Turn your name in presentative and I'm pleased. I know that I'm in a security. I'm being a hunter. Unconquerable. I know I'm a With that, my father usually just always been playing out awesome music. As a little girl growing up, one thing I realized about myself, like I am big on listening to words mm. and see how they make sense in a sentence. Mm. And so growing up, I usually always be listening to the Burning Spear mm. and a lot of Dennis Brown, Ijaman Levi, mm -hmm. Barry Brown, just foundation artists because mm -hmm. that's what my father usually play. So I grew up listening to a lot of cultural music. We have the sound system set up every day. My father is constantly like, my mom make up no joke when I tell people say every day. My father usually, you know, in his sound room, sound room, is this little room where him create where he'd have his vinyl and him turntable set up and him amps and everything. And that's where him stay and him play music and him record himself, record us. Usually would just call us in. Here, what do you want, daddy? I'm going to play a version you're going to sing. What wow. From what age were you doing that? I was doing that from three. What? Yeah, baby. I have wow. recording going way back from the first time. I usually live in a place I'm called Mona, come on. Mm -hmm. From way back in 1984. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, baby voice. <laughs> 1986, 1988. Like different videos and different cassettes recording with just us. I even talking to him last night about it. I was making a joke. That's amazing. That's yeah. like a, I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better musical foundation or upbringing or school, it's education. True. really. I never right? understand it then. Yeah. Because I usually cry and be like, 
you can please just turn it down. Remember, I have school tomorrow. Please, I want to study or I need to do homework. Please, you know, mm. turn it down just a little. And for that, I'm gonna turn it up more. Yeah. And I never understand, but now it makes complete sense. Mm -hmm. it, it was basically like a preparation for these times. Mm. I never even wanted to sing, mm. and that people don't know. When I was younger, mm -hmm. I used to tell myself that I was gonna be a lawyer mm -hmm. or a choreographer. That was my big thing. In oh, music. you were a dancer? I love dance. Ah, All over the place. Ah, no way. <laughs> Thank God people never have like wow. Instagram and those little videos. Back in the day. Back in the days, yes. So what were we talking about? 90s? You were in the dance hall? Yeah, up to early 2000s. Like, I liked wow. to dance and um, choreograph stuff. And I used to always enter competition. Mm. Yeah. Wow. The last one I entered was in 2007. Really? Yeah. There was this Smyrna Ice competition, and I think we came third. We wanted to dance with Sean Paul. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So what well, Bogle was a big inspiration, and all these people. Really like and truly. Carlene. Bogle, Bogle, no, I wasn't so deep into like dance all, dance all. Uh -huh. I like hip hop a lot. So okay. there was this um, choreographer by the name of Fatima, mm -hmm. and she would choreograph for Alea. And some Missy and some other persons, and I usually just watch her. Right. Yeah, cool. she's the person I usually love the most. That's amazing. So that's what I wanted to do. I want to be oh. a choreographer. But then, I don't know. The funniest thing, growing up, I usually always be singing. Always singing at school. Anytime they're having any events, they'd call me. But singing to me was just like, ah, they call it to sing. Yeah, go sing. But it's like I a normal sing, thing But it you. wasn't anything yeah, that yeah, I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I usually see my sisters like doing their thing in a group. They usually have a group called Tajays. Mm -hmm. You're not forced on by my father because my father loves music. Mm -hmm. And he's like, but you can sing and you can sing and your friend can sing mm -hmm. and her sister can sing. Come group. You're going to be in a group. Nice. And they usually sing for Mikey Spice, Jamali, Nati Rima. Wow, amazing. And I usually have to go there and watch them sing. And I always say, no, I don't move like this. Mm -hmm. Let, let's choreograph it. <laughs> like, you're going to stiff. Nice. Like, dance a little bit. You have to dance. And do. that was my thing. And they usually run me and be like, Daddy, you need to make her leave. She literally had this story, but she's interrupting the rehearsal. Mm. So that was my little thing about music that turned me off. You know, I couldn't go in there and dance. I never understand it. What about, what about like, um, so we talked about who your inspirations were in terms of like what was being played by your dad at home. But like when you first went to shows, I'm assuming that would have been in the 90s, when you first went and you saw artists like perform my, live. Look here, I'm going to... Jal of dances from I'm a baby. So Brigadier Jerry was what you saw. Yes, yeah, sister. So that's sister why Carol Mama Nancy. So your influences. Papa Tom. Even in your music. <laughs> yeah. That's why you have a DJ style as well. Yeah. Because you grew up with that. Exactly. Very cool. And then my father would always be singing around the house and DJing around the house. You know, my father is a DJ. Too. Mm -hmm. People don't know that. Mm -hmm. But my father have a whole catalog of music. Mm. Yeah. If you listen to. Um, Brigadier Jerry, Freedom Street, mm -hmm. that all CD was produced by my dad. Mm. Yeah, and he, wow. and he also has a feature on it with Brigadier Jerry called Rootsman Skank. Okay. So if Ooh. anyone wants to listen, just go find the Brigadier Jerry Rootsman Skank and the person DJ, and that's my father. Amazing. Yeah. So Very I had a lot cool. of influence through mm -hmm. my father. And then my father is a writer. I usually sit down and read his writing. And mm -hmm. then my mother is another person who. She doesn't sing, but she do a lot of writing. Mm -hmm. And I usually sit and watch, read her poetry, and read her, like she's the type of person that writes spiritual verses. So I read those as well. So I have a lot of influence. Dude, where music tell, tell us writing is concerned. That's amazing. But tell, tell, tell us a little bit about Sister Carol and Sister Nancy and like watching these kind of artists at that time. Because it was pretty male-dominated, right? No, that's the thing. I'm mm -hmm. watching these artists and I'm thinking to myself, like, when can we go home? Like, <laughs> daddy, my bored out of my mind. Like, <laughs> let me go find some ashram and eat. Like, I wasn't necessarily paying attention, but subconsciously I was paying attention. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Because it reflects now in the music. Definitely. And then there are times when I usually be young and just watching them and I say, but who is this lady that dominate? Mm -hmm. And she had DJ over the man them. Yeah. Exactly. And she had run the show. Yeah. So I had those experiences. And we have to give homage to them. Mm -hmm. Because when I saw them doing their thing, it wasn't in a, any type of derogatory way. It wasn't lewd. Mm. Them never naked. Mm. Them never said any type of explicit. Mm. Ex 
expletives. Yeah. Nothing negative. Yeah. They're always talking about His Majesty, our ganja, or just the dance hall, just regular life going. Not negative. So yeah. we have to respect and honor them. Definitely. They showed me that there's a possibility for me to come and do it exactly how I want to do it. I don't have to take off my clothes. Yeah. I don't have to do anything more than to make my talent speak for itself. The thing with that, it might take a little time, and I'm fine with that. Mm. As me, I'm one of them person that will believe, not before the time, and if the most I set it like that for you, then it's sure. definitely yours to have. Sure, so. sure. Yeah. So do you think that, was there unity amongst those women at that time? Of course. Okay. To this day, I can see their friends. They're mm. good friends. Very so, close sisters. But I feel like there was a bit of a gap between their time and, you know, emerging or female artists at this time. Yeah. Because now... I can't tell you why. Yeah, tell me. Because it's being laminated. Mm -hmm. And you will have females out there who have the caliber of lyrics and the ability to perform like any other man and even better, but never get the opportunity. Because mm -hmm. even when I was doing my thing, if I wasn't wise, I would have fall prey to certain things and you wouldn't have an impressativa mm -hmm. because i would have been disencouraged mm. yeah so so what changed where you think suddenly you know yourself even other female artists that you know maybe jana and or other artists now that you see you know coming up lila and all these you know female artists that are really like coming to the fore what do you think changed for you all you know maybe i guess about 10 years ago that's when you kind of really appeared like i would say internationally yeah so what, 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 what kind of changed 10 years ago that allowed and enabled more women to come back into... If I'm wanting in a life, life change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. People change, circumstances mm -hmm. change, people grow, people learn, knowledge increase. Mm -hmm. You ever hear greater David, greater son? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm one of those persons who look at the experiences of others mm -hmm. and I don't want that experience, so I try to take a different route and expand and expand mm -hmm. to create a better outcome for myself. Mm -hmm. Like you have to respect them, you know. Because they were doing it at a time when it was dominated by males intensely. Yeah. Like, if you it are, a, you literally can hardly name a lot of females from that time who did what Sister Carol and um, Woman Nancy did. Definitely. You can hardly okay. name them. No, but, and then there was a huge gap. Unless until, some, until, you know, you guys came through. Sorry for cutting off, unless there's some type of lewd message that my push. That's true. You could name mm. all of those females. That's true. Who are talking about the skin out and the mm. rare. You can name them. Yeah. But you can hardly name a roots cultural daughter. No. Who dominated the mm. dancehall era like Sister Carol and Mama Nancy. Mm. You hardly can name them. No. It's true. One thing I realized with music, especially reggae, I will tone it more down to this. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. They do things on a cyclic basis. Mm -hmm. So you will have a period where a beer... We don't call it rare, rare music. You hear the most Hype disgusting, yeah. lewd things. And then it's almost like the people them come to them sense and they want to know God and they want to know God. And so they tone it down and them, them start to come more back to, to reggae. <laughs> Am I lying? No, it's true. If you look at, if you look, yeah. The history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will Since see the 80s. Yeah. It's just so it goes. Yeah. So things of a time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a season. It just so happens that we come up in a season when them say roots music are mm. come back to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Right. So I just that. Fair play. And um, th I guess that leads us to Hempress Sativa Live because that's kind of your platform to, mm -hmm. to showcase and encourage new talents. Yeah, I needed Empress Sativa Live. I had to do it because if you listen to my content, if you listen to my lyrics, and I would say this to people, mm -hmm. my type of uh, songs that I write, it's, it's not so palatable by all. Some people are offended. Mm -hmm. Some people take offense. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not the normal standard type of delivery of music. No, not at all. Yeah. yeah. It's unique. So I would, tell, I would lead with that. Mm -hmm. So with that said, you have a lot of persons who don't know how to quote unquote market me as a quote unquote brand. Mm. I don't fall into that category. Well, that's the, <laughs> that's the I, I agree with you. Even this kind of let's call it whatever it is. I mean, some people call it Roots Revival or whatever, but like I this... I don't call it that. I know. A lot, <laughs> neither do I. I'm I just saying... I can't call it that. Exactly. So, 
even that seems to be like a brand in itself, yeah, it right? Is. And it's a, like, a, I don't want to call it a clique because that's unfair and I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> all right. What people don't know is it's one thing with people outside yeah. looking in. It's a difference with people Inside. within looking out. Yeah. I could say things or make people I go like this. Yeah. But I don't subscribe to it. Mm. But all certain truth to myself and say, leave it to time for it to reveal itself. Mm. Understand? Yeah. Same thing with the roots revival and the new school. Everybody wanna have it. Mm. No disrespect to no one. Yeah, yeah. It, but for me, mm. who grow up in a sound system culture mm. and travel outside of Jamaica, mm -hmm. I know that I know that term. Mm. It relegates itself only to Jamaica. Mm. Because when you go to Europe, there's never a time when Europeans are not listening to reggae Definitely. and supportive of reggae. Definitely. Uh, listen to me. The people them can tell you. Mm -hmm. All of the foundation artists, then when not Jamaicans can't tell. Oh, yeah, 100%. They can tell you about songs. So exactly. You never hear playing Rhythm, Jamaica. songs, yeah, everything. They know. They, they know studied the it. musicians yeah. who play the music. <laughs> yeah, we would just talk about that, yeah. That's the level yeah. of respect yeah, that absolutely. they have for reggae. Absolutely. And sometimes a lot of people in a Jamaica, they become offended and say, oh, Europe are take away reggae from Jamaica. But one of the things <sighs> we need to realize is me as a Jamaican. I live in Jamaica. Mm. We don't appreciate what we create. Mm. We have this thing about it's dispensable. So as soon as something new come with us, that shred out. You understand? Yeah. We have mental scale all these things and you realize the stages and it dash and never get revisited again. Reggae is the only thing that you see last along. Definitely. Everlasting. Everlasting. And but I have to maintain it. And you're doing an amazing job of it. <laughs> yeah. That. Honestly, honestly, now, but but tell me something. Let's just touch upon this because it's an interesting relationship actually you have with Europe. I mean, you've toured there a few times. You've yeah. just come back from there. I guess the first time I heard your music was ooh la la la. But when it really, I think, you know, kind of pushed out to the world was with the tune with Mellow Mood. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how that happened because I'm assuming, assuming that the big tune with Paolo Baldini also was are born from that relationship. I would drop a little um, observation that I did because me as a person, I like to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see anybody come from Europe to try to align himself with any Jamaicans or ask them for a feature, sure. it's because they have a boss somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, someone who's not known in Europe can come to Jamaica and align himself with anybody from Jamaica True. and become the next big artist in Europe just because they get that stamp of approval from True. a Jamaican artist. True. So it's one of them things there. Mm -hmm. And I give thanks for the opportunity because it's a good song. Mm -hmm. and, and I love Baldini. <laughs> Baldini, I'm an bad. Bad, Yeah, man. like you have to give yeah. props. Yeah, yeah, props yeah. to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah man. Yeah. You do great work. Mm -hmm. So respect for that. And then the way oh, he approached me, mm -hmm. I have to really give respect to him. Because mm. I don't like it, just the music. Because you have somebody with name, and I think we can mm. get a fair trade. No, your mm. energy, above all, must mm -hmm. be balanced with I and I. Yeah, absolutely. Because I have to stand there and work with you after this song has been created. We we'll probably have to go perform at certain places. Mm -hmm. And if the energy off, it, it can tell. So respect to Baldini. Baldini is an upful person, and mm. I respect that. That's why I was so eager to do the song with him. It was good experience. Yeah. No, I mean it. Uh, and you can see the chemistry. The energy is good, man. Definitely, it's a big tune played all over the world, yeah. and video also seen many times by, <laughs> by including people in India. Shout out to all the India massive tuned in Shout right out now. Shout out to the Indian massive <laughs> blessings. Uh, yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Do you, you, you have anything in particular you want to ask? That is okay, anything? Yeah, man, you must uh, have something. Do you have a plan to go to Japan? I have all plans to travel the world, definitely. Of course, Japan is on the list. Yeah, okay. Of course. Okay. Of course. When we see all Japanese support reggae culture, of course. Yes, yes. Of course, it's a must. Oh, yeah, this is a good question. Tell us a little bit about... I mean, it's special to have scientists here mixing you. Yeah, of course. Second time at Dub Club. Yeah, and then scientists did the album, and then <laughs> scientists meet them for Sativa album. So yeah, scientists for me, I'm truly honored because it's not all right. Scientists, somebody who is established within the music fraternity. All right, that's a living legend. Mm -hmm. I never paid scientists a dime. I never did anything more than share the music. And he's like, I'm going to support you. Wow. 
So we have to respect the foundation artists, them are the pioneers who are willing to pass the baton and help to strengthen and support up and coming artists like myself. Yeah. Absolutely. Respect the scientists. Each and every time. Upton, Overton Brown, big of yourself. Upton Brown, the legend himself. <laughs> Living legend, man. All right, Empress, it was a pleasure. Thank I you for Zeus. speaking to Dub Siren TV. Thank you. Wishing Dub you, Siren, big of yourself. Uh, wishing you a great show and a great stay Thank here you. in LA. Thank you. Thank you. All right, respect. <laughs>
heaven more. You better be prepared. Sound of trumpets, sound of hearts. We're in a spiritual war. Soldiers, never more. You better be prepared.
Respect to the one called Bob Marley. Yeah, man, legend. Respect to the man called Scientist. Respect to each and everyone that's present tonight. Big up on yourself. Giving yourself a round of applause. We're truly blessed. We're truly grateful. After fire burning, now we said judgment in our Babylon, man. Get up. <laughs> Some more cuss 
prophesy prophecies about to unfold There is gold and a multitude of jewelry Knowledge is a precious ruby Take I back to Africa from where we think I'm truly calling out A people of no nation is a people of no soul It's the last CIA in this trueness and glory Trusting in your need and worry That's why we turn Burn out them souls Take the little youth and I say them out of control don't burn, the red that fire I go burn But we don't just never want to learn That's why we chant Don't burn, burn out them souls The little you don't see them out of control Red that fire I go burn But we don't just never want to learn Praise, let them prevent the seal the day. No time for someone, no time for gaze. Pray my brother, let them dirty ways. We will shy from purple eggs, then this may jump from purple grave. All the lie and them are there. We step up on the stage. Cute faces, there's a sexy shape. Two people simple and no amaze. Time to come on the mission of the day. Early chat time, say this is big. Just my brother, my brother. How was it done? This song was the old. My blast in the song, but black and white. I'm from them island, bow like girls. Burn out them souls. Treat the little you to see them out of control.
Coconut Chinese, got you, yes, and some 
we just got to eat it up. Well, it's a thing we just scrap jam, master, the young veteran. Wash belly, baby, boom, and go be boom, and I turn. We are rock for me, na, na, be baby, in a bad man. Reaching late up in this time, don't pop in me, no car, man. We sit up and down with the beat, like the quick is gonna change. Like the office in my mouth, the center is the microphone. We can talk up in a session.
Now, you use your compassionate wisdom to come here tonight. Can you use that same compassionate wisdom to bring by the Empress? I can hear you. Do you want more from Empress Atifa and your conquer band? You want more? Let her hear you. She can't hear you. saying this. Big up to the queens who paved the way. Ladies like Mooma Nancy, Sister Lara, Sister Carol. Yeah, man. I never see them ladies that dress naked one day in them life. They never have to come on stage and speak anything derogatory. Strictly conscious music and them top tier next to the all of them on them. You understand? So respect to the queens who do the thing before I and I. The real Mooma them. Yes, I. And of course, big up all of the soul on them. Man like I love you, big and dear Jerry. Yeah, man, big up on yourself. Straight, straight influence the I and I. Kick it off and conquer. But no club, big up on yourself. The great boy. No income, see and conquer, the lioness. Empress Sativa, the very car machine. In other place called No Club once again. What that that day? Da 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 ding, and press that tea for money, my canal, rip it over. Yeah, what a da ding. Don't drop the money, please, and don't be now, make no friends. What a da ding. Da 
Chihuahua, 